here rod watching. You know what it's like. Yeah. Hi, hi, I told I, you. I didn't know it was going to feel like that. Tastes pretty good? Yeah. Wearing my six shooter, riding my pony on a cattle drive. Sure. We're going to put a head section in the bottom half there. We're looking for old flathead is what we're hunting, really. We've got our bait thrown right in this clinch area here. And we're going to have this guy waiting when he swims through. Oh, that's an old large jaw. Uh, a pretty good sized fish. Well, slow bite. Let's get the baits we do have back to the homestead. We don't waste nothing. Well, they can't even see him. They'd rather just fight over one fish. They kick in there and say she found something. Country style it good bowie. It's an early morning here at Cross the Creek, and as y'all know. We are literally crossing the creek. We gotta get down here. Gotta get down off in this bank. So we can catch us some bait fish. Whoop! And you know what we're about to do. Y'all stay with us. It's gonna be a good one. A funny one. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thanks for watching. Nice throw. We are out here today. You know we can't catch no bait fish without Chris. He's gotta, gotta catch our baits for us. You keep digging, you might find some. Little turtle eggs. Maybe even a little snake egg. Oh, don't it. That throw right there looked like you were looking for Billy. It wasn't the best of throw. I'm just looking for old head section. Old head section is all I'm trying to get right here. What did that one see? Well, it looked like you didn't catch nothing but a leaf section. Oh, right, it's spotty bass, ain't it? Got him on spotty bass. Where is spotty bass? That's like he was in his dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in his dank, where the goys live. Where the goys live? Yeah. They say he's getting invasive. They invasive, and we need bait. Let's get his head off. All right, guys, we got most of our bait caught up and such. Uh, we weren't able to get on any good live bait, but uh, we've got uh, one skipjack along with another spotted bass. We're going to get the head on that bass there. And that skipjack, well, he's smaller size. We're going to put him on this live bait. And uh, we're going to travel just up this slough here and uh, see if we can find old Flatty today. We're out doing some recreational fishing today. Normally, when we go out and fish, guys, we're normally trying to catch ample loads of invasive bait fish to take back and feed the homestead and such well the animals on the homestead but this trip here well the animals are fed up fine doing good and uh we fishing for sport we out trying to locate us an old uh flatty y'all come on with us we made it to the site here and before we do any fishing uh, we got to get us a fire built up so we're gonna pick up all the trash here and get this fire up right and going well so maybe we can have some hot dogs and such on it but uh we did a video here in this area about four or five months ago where we were uh, learning how to throw the cast net. We were throwing it off this levee here. And uh, needless to say, I think I'm going to do more of the same today. Uh, but I saw some bait fish busting and such. I want to try to get me some white bass to put out there. But, uh, let's go help with this fire here. Well, put my hands on something for it. Say I ain't touching nothing. And uh, we'll get to fishing. Well, we don't go nowhere without these guys right here. Uh, these are self-reliant fire starters and uh we're gonna light these guys up in between that wood there and uh see if we can get this place nice and warm or smoky one boys pulling out that monster tire over there 
I told him it must have been used to drive across this river. Marquis watching this thing. He remember what we used to do in that old uh, blue Chevrolet. We might have drove across some of y'all's property before. But uh, Maria's got this thing up and going. And uh, well, we'll get hot here in a second and we'll be able to maybe go to cooking and eat. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to get this head off, the old, off this old spotted bass here. Well, with these old Dollar General scissors that we got. I'm gonna let that knee hold him. I'm having to hold the hook on the other side there. And uh, there's his head section. Let's get a body section off of him. Why don't you even say watching this thing? I should have bought a blade, but as you know, every time we come, well, we don't really come prepared. Well, let's get him baited up. So uh, we're gonna put him old head section just through the lips there. Well, let me. He's a little slick. Let me do the tough palate of his jaw there. And uh, our next one, well, we'll hook this guy just above the top dorsal here. I believe they call that the dorsal. I didn't pay attention very much in school. And uh, we got him under a big hunk of meat there. And uh, we're going with a nice head section here. And uh, we'll get this guy casted out under this float. Y'all stay tuned. Ain't nothing like old country style rod watching. Well, from the hatch of your Chevrolet, I guess. Speaking of the hatch of the Chevrolet, when I bring that big flathead out of there, well, I hope he fits in the hatch. Y'all having any luck? No. no. We gotta get it tied on there and see what we can do. For now, we wait. Y'all old Durango Orange stood up just then. And I like to beat Usain Bolt getting to her. Well, ain't nothing in the world faster than all shucks country boy who thought he saw his rod tip go down. You get to leaning and shaking on that thing. Well, you just know what I'm talking about. CJ's back with us and y'all know what he's doing. Well, he's from the Tanzania tribe. He wants to let y'all know that every time I turn this thing on and uh let me let me help him out here. He's hung up. I know what that's like. Here, let me help you out. Where you hung up at? Right there. I see. Back on up. Let me get it for you. You can't catch nothing hung up. I know what that's like. I hey, I throw a net. I know what it's like. There you go. Sorry about that, y'all. We we got to get on. We got to get back in the script. All right. CJ wants to let y'all know he's from the Tanzania tribe. Every time we turn this thing on and uh, building himself. What is that, CJ? Uh, it's supposed to pull my socks in. Okay, it's gonna pull what in? Monster. Okay. He said it's gonna pull some monsters in, he said. But uh he getting it pitched out there. I don't know if it ever will reach, but we working on it. Let's go check in with DJ. I apologize about the wind noise guys. Well we're out here in it. But uh DJ's on the more windy side. Let's see what he's doing on here. DJ, uh, what are you doing there? He's taking it out. Oh he's just tying on the chip there. What are you gonna do with it? What is this in your pocket here? You got something hanging out your face here? Oh, you over here measuring fish? Yeah. Well, I'll bring you one to measure. Give me just a second. I'm going to get some of these thread fin shad I've caught up in my net. Uh, we're going to get them over to Maria and such. And, uh, well, what we're going to do from there, she's going to put them under bobber and pitch them out there. Let's see if we land us one of them old white bass, old yellow bass or something. That's the same thing you were doing. Mm. But with no fishing pole in their hand. So they're rocking back and forth. Well, that's what he's doing over there now. He don't need no fishing pole. The river just knows. Gotta go check on. Sometimes the river just knows. Just let his cares just sail on downstream. They only get heavier, boy. You got to keep an eye on your boys and such when you're out. Well, your girls for that matter, too. Uh, when they're this age right here, and they're ready to cut loose. It's hard to keep an eye on them. They'll be gone in about two seconds. You look one way, they the other way. Gotta get that hot dog on the stick. Hmm. So you gotta, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got some on the channel that'll run away with that one. We better not say that one. Well, we're getting them fired up nonetheless. And, uh, Here, hold it. No problem. They're getting them fired up nonetheless, and you bet uh, DJ said he ain't missing out on them hot dogs. <laughs> 
Well, Maria wouldn't let me use a stick. She sent me off, said I got to go get my own. And uh, I'll be honest, I ain't never done this before. And uh, I wouldn't say I'm scared, but got a little bit of the S word in it. Got a little bit of the S word in it. But uh, I can't swallow my pride and go back and just ask. So, well, the guys on the channel know how that is. We got to be tough. We got to be tough. Uh, I sure hope I don't get on no old rap. Talking about a tanner rap. Let's go this way here. Look, y'all, I found one on the ground. I just take it back over there and say, well, I got it off a tree branch. Let me go show out. Dudes. I got them baits casted out here. Had to get me old stick to put my hot dog on. And, uh, well, when it comes to hot dogs, you know, it's got to be Nathan's. Got to be Nathan's. Only the best. Well, I came up with my own stick. That's hot right there. It, it ain't going to matter. The stick I got right here, that fire ain't going to matter. It ain't going to burn. This stick is impenetrable. Got a tough stick. I think so anyways. We're waiting them rods out. And, uh, we ain't been getting a whole lot of action on But uh, I don't know. I see some shad and stuff running again. I might go over there and check that out. How y'all like y'all hot dogs? Rare? Medium done? Medium done. All right. You supposed to say, yes, Chef Ramsey. Yes, Chef Ramsey. There you go. Well, it's hotter than that over there. Might as well be his kitchen. <laughs> Got to turn that hand like you turn the hot dog. <laughs> I wish this wasn't just G-rated and I'd let y'all know exactly how hot this is. Name? Oh, get off it. Oh, look there. I didn't, got a little distracted. I believe my hot dogs are going to taste better than yours. I don't know if that's necessarily true. <laughs> I don't know. If the, mine got a little ash on it. Everybody knows on a campfire hot dog, the ash is the best part. Everybody knows that. You really need a longer stick. Well, there ain't a man on the channel that didn't wish he had a longer stick. Hands get awful hot when they're down here trying to start fire. Y'all, Maria's a little immature. I was talking about how hot her hands get when we're trying to start fires and such. I'm talking about hot dog on a stick country. Your skin burning on yours. Yours might be done. Yours might be done. Sure getting close. You catching anything, CJ? Not yet. Not yet. You getting it close? You got some tough line. That look like red wire. That's that old Cajun red wire, I believe. You got some good line. You ought to be able to catch some. Throw it down there like it's a magnet. Try to get one of them bottles. I'm about ready to put it in there, in there guys. I'm getting hungry. I'm talking about hangry. I might eat this guy here. No ketchup. Stop trying to touch wieners with me. Tastes pretty good? Yeah. All right. Well, my turn up next. They're enjoying theirs, and Maria's walking hers on over there to Mr. Good Furrier. He's got to put his magnet down for a minute and try it out. Oh, I'm rushing this thing. You know how it is when you're watching that microwave warm up that food for you. And, uh, well, you get tired of waiting and waiting and waiting. I think I'm just going to turn it off and say it's good. I like the crunchy ball. Mm. Me too. I guess the crunchy part is Maria's favorite too. I done started on mine you now. It's just it's what I thought it'd be. Well, for everybody that went over there with me to hunt that stick now. Well, after Maria told me no, I couldn't use hers. If you look at that stick she's using there, does it look familiar to you? She told me no and looked like I told her yeah. She's on about a third or fourth hot dog, we don't know. After the hot dog break ended. I picked my, my ultralight back up and I was fishing that old rock there on the left side of your screen there and uh there he is guys there he is caught us an old large jaw guys of uh, just off that point there well I was hoping he was one of those spotted but he ain't this guy here has got to go back but I just want to show him the humans with those shad we've been throwing out we caught this aggressive guy here uh, we're gonna hook him in the tail and we're gonna put him at the bottom of one of those double rigs and uh we're gonna see if there's any flathead in the area to feed them to. We've got about 20 or 30 more minutes to kill out here, so we're gonna sit on this spot and uh, we've got our baits thrown right in this clinch area here. 
we're gonna have this guy waiting when he swims through. It might be alright, it might rip through. I don't know. But uh we casting down big bait this time. We got big bass hump there and uh well live old sunfish there. Let's get him down. Casting down big baits. Big bait. Talking about we ain't did this since the third or fourth episode across the creek. How long ago since we casted out this one? It's been a while. Must be the hell man. Y'all must have hung around long enough and we ain't caught nothing. So here goes the Hail Mary. Let's get him out there. Yeah. Big baits going down. Well, Chris broke off. And as you know, he lost his fishing weights and we run out of them. So I'm over here checking the palm banks and stuff. And I found two or three of them. They aren't quite the size we're looking for, but I guess he said it'll do. That actually, that looks like a fishing way right there. Let's get him dug up. Nah, just an old piece of glass. It was close though. We'll have to keep looking and scouting these banks. Hopefully we can find a bigger weight. We're making our way down this embankment here. And uh, Maria's coming down, down as well. And uh, I'm gonna throw my net just on the inside here. This is the normal level of the water up here where you see the trash and such looks like somebody's been fishing there but the water's awfully low as it is in all of south georgia right now i'm gonna pass this camera over maria and uh we'll make a picture and see if they catch us girl collard green she won't go skip me she said she'll take a white bass This is the part that y'all don't see. <laughs> You're gonna see it this time. That's why you don't buy the high dollar ones. Let me put on my water boots. I got to go in there and get that. We can't leave it in the river and we cannot contaminate the water with plastic and stuff. Give me a second. There's a needle in there. A needle? Mm -hmm. There is a needle in that bank there. Uh, he's right there. We ain't gonna touch him up. I don't know what he's used for. We're gonna make our way around this thing here. In one of them cave holes there. You go digging and such. Uh, these are the treetops that you guys see, those black bass. Uh, they like to spool vertical column up in here. And uh Nah, this is where we're gonna go noodling later this year. <laughs> now nah, this is where you're gonna go noodling. Cause uh before I stick my arm in a hole talking about a noodle, I'd buy a pool noodle. We're gonna try to see if we can find some arrowheads. We've got some rods throw down and such, and uh We'll let you guys know what we find. Why are we beating up these areas looking for tackle and old hooks and weights and such? Well, I need to take a second to tell anybody struggling with anything at all. Well, including struggling catching fish like I'm doing. He'll turn it around. Just stay to it and sit on those spots. An old paint can there. I wonder what that'll do. Where you been? What you done? Why it is you're standing there? It just rolls on by. Well, they're gonna write it rolls on by. Don't send the fish to bite me. I guess complaining don't help neither, do it? Let's go get a tow drift before crash. For all our science lovers on the channel that likes to uh, composite in the layers of the earth, there they are right there. Well, it's got a little bit of clay here, a little bit of topsoil there, some other kind of dirt, and then the rocky surface here. Well, down here in South Georgia, where we got what's called that Georgia clay. It's that red thick level right there in the middle of there. And uh, sometimes four-wheel drive won't even help you. Let's get out of here. Well, slow bite. 
Let's get the baits we do have back to the homestead. We don't waste nothing. As I promised you, I keep saying that we were going to come home and feed them on up. But since now I got them away from it, that's exactly what we intend on doing. Let's get some more bait off in there, guys. We're bringing home all the bait chunks off those spotted bass there. Uh, we're also bringing home all the little sunfish and such. We're going to pitch them guys in there as well. Uh, we thoroughly enjoy our fishing trip as we do every one of them. And uh, this just goes to show, guys, all the way down to the bait. We don't waste nothing on this regenerative style of homesteading that we do. We turn our recreational fishing trips, well, into bait trips, which in the end turns into good old homestead feeding fishing trips. So uh, we enjoy it nonetheless. We appreciate you guys coming with us all day long. And uh, we won't tie up too much more of you guys' time. I got some feeding and such we've got to get done. And uh, that old rooster there say, it's time for y'all to get the heck up out of his pen. Thanks for watching. <laughs>